Problem one, given the values of these three logarithms, we want to find the value of the expression. Before we start, we will review what logarithm is or learn what logarithm is. So logarithm closely relates to the exponents and we can look at the example. For example, I can write two to the power of five is equal to 32. And then the same expression I can also write as logarithm of base two of 32 is equal to five. So same numbers, two, five, and 32, and we are relating them. And logarithm basically asks two into what power is equal to 32. I'm going to give you an example. And you tell me what it will equal to. For example, log base 3 of 81. What is it? 3 to the 81st power. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Huh? Uh, 81. So 81 is 8 what power? Tell me this first. 81 is? 3 to the 4th. Mm -hmm. 3 times 3, 4 times. It's 3 to the 4th. Mm-hmm. Notice like 32 above was 2 to the 5th, right? This was our base to the 5th power, right? Our base to the 5th power. And then here we write the value of the base, uh, of the exponent. Mm -hmm. Let's do it by analogy. So now we have log base 3 of 81 and 81 is 3 to the 4th. So what do you think we should write here? Four. Four. Mm -hmm. Because we need to write the exponent. We are asking into what power we need to raise the base to get this number. And here it's three to the fourth. So we need to raise three to the fourth power. And we can write that same statement that I wrote here. Let me remove this. In the exponential form. Can you help me? Do you know how to rewrite this exact expression now through the exponential form. So 3 to the 4th is equal to 81. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right, very good. Let's do one more example. Let's count log base 5 of 25. Yeah, that is, since 25 is 5 squared, mm -hmm. log 5 of 25 is 2. That's right. Very good. Because 25 was 5 squared, and we asked 5 into what power is 25? And we know it's into the power of 2. Now we'll make it a little bit harder. Instead of 25, I will write 1 25th. It's still the same sequence of steps. I'm still asking, but now I'm asking uh, 5 into the what power is equal 1 25th. And so we you know that negative powers make them a fraction. So a negative 2 would be the correct answer because when you have 5 to the negative 2, you make it 1 over 5. to the, Like the negative sign turns into a fraction. So As a reciprocal, because we might have started with a fraction into the negative exponent, right? Yeah, good point. Yeah, so negative sign in the exponent means take a reciprocal. And yeah, here it's 1 over 5 squared. Okay, so here um, we ask 5 into what exponent is equal to 1 25th, and that is negative 2. And all of them we can write in the exponential form. For example, this last one is what? This last one in the exponential form. Is 5 to the negative 2 is equal to 1 over 25. Mm -hmm. That's right. So the same relations we can write either as exponents or logarithms. Let's raise it and let's discuss some laws of logarithms that will be helpful for this problem. 
So here we have a product of a lot of terms and we have it's over something. We are going to use a few rules. First one is logarithm, say base A of B times C will equal to logarithm base A of B plus logarithm base A of C. We call this the product rule for logarithms. And we can prove it through the laws of exponents. Um, and we can do it in a different video. Similarly, we can do the law of um, the quotient. We can do B over C. And now it will be log base A of B minus log base A of C. And one more that we will need here, if we have logarithm base A of B to some power C. So we can simplify it a bit. Just like, for example, we have logarithm base 5 of 25 that we already did, and we knew that it was 2. Now I'm going to add some power to 25. So it will be logarithm base 5 of 25 to the power of 7. Let's figure out what that would be. And particularly, we are interested in how it relates to the original one. Yeah, so 25 uh, to the 7th is 25 times 20 times itself, 7 times. Therefore, by like the first rule that you showed us, it's going to be 2 times 7. Uh-huh, because um, we can split it into the product of 25 7 times, and it means it will be the sum of log 5 of 25. <laughs> Five, seven times. Mm -hmm. Very good. That's one way. Another way we can rewrite this number as five into some power. We started with five squared, and now it will be five to what power? Now it'll be five to the 14th. Mm -hmm. Because it's five squared to the seventh. We know we multiply the exponents. So the new exponent is 2 times 7. It means the new answer is also 2 times 7 because it asks 5 into the base, 5 into what exponent gives us this value, and it's 2 times 7, which is 14. All right, so this is intuitive explanation. And for us, we will write it as the rule. And what do you think I want to write here? So what should I do with that C? I will relate uh, it to log base A of B. Times? Yeah, times C. Mm -hmm. That's right, because we are doing it C times, as we showed in the examples. All right, so these are the three rules that we are going to use as we compute the value of our logarithm. Um, I'll erase them. They'll remember. So when it's a product, it changes into the sum of logarithms. When it's quotient, it's a difference. And the exponent we can pull out. All right. So this is our logarithm. Let's do it step by step. We will have to do several steps. Mm -hmm. So first of all, we should split this into like several equations for each um expressions probably because yeah, yeah. Like several expressions for each variable so i see three terms mm -hmm. let's use the sum and quotient rule first mm -hmm. so the sum and quotient rule would give us um Let's do the quotient first. This is the whole something, and this is the whole something. Yeah, then it will have log a cubed times b to the fourth mm -hmm. minus log c to the seventh. Mm -hmm. Minus log c to the seventh. I also want to point out, notice here, 
it does not say us what the base is because it really doesn't matter for this problem. And um, we also don't know what A, B, and C are. When we write log without any number, we mean log base 10. Here, it will not matter, but just so that we notice that there is no base. It means it's a base 10. Okay, let's continue. We used up the quotient rule first by splitting logarithm of the top minus logarithm of the bottom. Let's do the product rule next. Uh, now we have that log c to the seventh is equal to log c times seven. That's the exponents rule. We can use it also. Um, let's first use the product rule on the first two because we have A here and B here. And okay. that's going to be log A cubed plus log B to the fourth. That's right. Okay, so log A cubed plus log B to the fourth minus log c to the seventh and now all of them have the exponent so we are going to use that rule the third one that we showed that so now we we'll just have a uh, log a times three log b times four minus log c uh times seven okay so this is the rule that we are using and now um all the exponents will go to the front here, here, and here, just like it did in the general form of this formula. All right, so let me write it. So we have three log A plus four log B minus seven log C. What's the last step for us? Uh, now, because we were given log C, log B, and log A, we just like plug them in into our equation. And we have 3 times log A, which is 3 times 5. And we have 4 times log B, which is 4 times 2. And minus 7 times log C, which is 7 times 1. So we have 15 plus 4 plus 8 minus 7. 15, 8. Seven, which is how much altogether? 16. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can do 15 minus 7 maybe and then plus 8. Or actually, no, 8 minus 7 and then that's 1 plus 15. This is 16. Very good. So we discussed how logs and exponents relate. And then three rules that we used here for the product, quotient, and the exponents.